Hello, new devlog. It's been five months since version 0.0 and 0.1 is finally here. So I hope you've enjoyed watching Forgettery. It was certainly fun to make it. Uh, the reason it's taken longer than I expected is because as soon as I wrote Forgettery, it demanded, the story demanded more from the engine than it could do. And I had to pile in all these extra things and get them working too. But it's good to have that there now. So uh, even if it's some of it's in a, a bit of a small form. Forgettery starred Anchi and Simon because Anchi and Simon have been completely revamped since version 0.0. They're entirely different characters, now in line with the rest of the crew. The ship has been completely revamped as well, the starship Destiny herself. She's got an entirely new shape, much sleeker lines. She's got an interior, she's got an elevator, she's got all the different decks. She's got code to make the console do all the things it needs to do, twitch the needles and move the steering column and change the VR goggles. VR goggles? Yeah, that's right. The new console has a VR goggles right there on the console. The player can pick them up and put them on their face and this will be key because putting them on their face can show you and take you virtually anywhere. And that was about all I had planned for version 0.1 until I wrote the story Forgettery, which seemed to demand all these extra things in the script. It demanded that the characters could walk from one deck to another. It demanded that there was an elevator which had code that would take you up and down and unload the levels and reload the levels as you did so. It demanded that the engineering deck exists and made noises and moved and was fitted out. And that all took weeks. I recruited some voice actors to play the parts of the characters on the ship and the two that I've used so far, Anna Lark and Michael Langham, they were both brilliant. They recorded their lines in no time at all and then the audio edit went pretty easy after that. For version 0.0 I'd used Audacity to take every single line said by every single character and break them down into chunks to describe what animation should be in those chunks. It saved out a marker file for every single one of those files individually and it was really tedious and I hated it. So for version 0.1, changes to the script editor. Now it's wav and where. It knows what wav corresponds to which line and it lets me mark up the, the animations inside the script editor to be saved into the script file as we always wanted. Version 0.0, had no 3D 360 video, but I wanted one for version 0.1. So I found a tool that would let me save every frame of, of the game as it played as 360 3D stereoscopic picture, ready to be linked in together as a video. And this slows things down horribly. It took 30 hours to render out that 3D 63 stereoscopic video, and uh, it didn't work first time. The mouth movement of the characters was linked to the volume of the sample that was being played through them, so they would move their mouth in time with the sample, and that works well when you're playing at normal speed, but when you slow it down to one frame every 10 seconds, all of the sample is finished by the time it's even played the second frame, which means all of their mouths will lock shut. Version 0.2 is going to have more control over the characters. It's going to allow them to form the different visims with their mouth as they say different words which need different mouth shapes. And also control the emotions in their face. And so I have to take a bit of that code that's not yet written and write it to give the script control over the mouth movement instead of using the volume control so that I could re render the 360 video. That took an extra day, but it does finally work now. Which brings me nicely on to things that will happen for the next version. The faces of the characters at the moment are basically ventriloquist dummies. They can swivel their eyes left and right and they can hinge their jaw open and closed. That's all they can do. There's no smile, there's not even a blink or a, or a frown. So I need to build a system which will track their emotional state and then link that to ways of finessing the face around so that they smile when they're happy and they frown when they're angry. Then I'm going to layer on top of that a system to change their mouth shapes for the different visions that happen as you talk. So, mm, rounded the mouth and ah, widen the mouth and that sort of thing. That's going to be in version 0.2. 
and that will need more enhancements to the script editor too. So the script editor can tell the program exactly what mouth does he need to say at any one given time. You'll have noticed that the animation's a bit crappy, and that's because there's really no point in polishing stuff that's going to be thrown away. Next version, I'm going to experiment with motion capture and hope I can act out what the characters are doing instead of having to tediously animate them frame by frame. If that works, it will save me so much time, so I'm going to spend a couple of weeks making that work. Meantime, you can be on the ship virtually in person by going to tentacles.co.uk slash starship and downloading the app for Gear VR or for Vive. Or, if you want to help out or if you just want to know more stuff about the development of the game, you can subscribe there for more information. Until next time, over and out.